It seems like a simple enough task, but for some people, getting groceries can be a real challenge. Especially now that one free service in the Grand Rapids area is gone. Matt Gard tells us what it is and why it meant so much to some people. One woman I talked to has glaucoma, which limits her vision, and before long, she could be completely blind. She's just one person at Westminster Meadows with limited mobility who benefited from a shuttle to Walmart. We had the Walmart bus go twice a week as a better price, and I'm on a very limited income. Walmart has been wonderful for me. Edie Lysick isn't alone. There's quite a few of us here that rely on Walmart. At least that was the case until, without warning, the free shuttle service stopped. The people that went with me on that Tuesday did not know. It wasn't until later they learned Walmart wasn't willing to foot the bill for the shuttle anymore. I thought I'd cry. Since then, these seniors have had to come up with a plan B. Taking the go bus if I have to. The go bus is expensive. Route bus which a lot of times I don't have the funding for. I get on the bus. Sometimes I'm in such pain, it's hard for me to do it. Some have had to rely on the kindness of others. A dear friend, they left a couple doors for me. My nephew, when, he, when he's able to, when he's not working, he'll come and take me. Can you bring me this back? Can you bring me that back? I depend on my neighbors, and that's not right. Enter Crystal Cunningham from Dwelling Place. This breaks my heart. She's the one who originally got the ball rolling on the free Walmart shuttle. What are these people going to do? Since Walmart pulled out, she's been reaching out to everyone she can think of. Organizations that do charitable work and saying, you think you might be able to provide some transportation. Farmers markets, I would like to see them come a little closer to some of these neighborhoods. She's also teaching some seniors how to use delivery services like shipped. It's about $12.95 per month. Walmart just may have a solution. And Walmart's new competing delivery service but those come with their own hurdles. Is it going to be too costly? And will senior citizens be able to figure them out? They forget about people that are not tech savvy. Back at Westminster Meadows, seniors are waiting for answers. She would be the one with the most need. You feel kind of stuck right now. Yeah, I do. Really stuck. And longing for the days when the free Walmart shuttle would pull up out front. I really like to have it back. If you or someone you know could help Crystal find some relief for those folks, we have the number for you on 13onyourside.com. We also reached out to Walmart, but we have not heard back yet. We'll let you know when we do. Back to you.